freezing a lot. Get in. Chit chatting. Looks so good. Done. My IOE. Hi, welcome back. Today, my new adventure starts, so I am pretty excited. I just got to the airport, so I just have to go to my gate, and then we'll be arriving to Orlando. On the email, it says that I have to wait until 3 p.m. for me to be able to check into my hotel, which is normal. I'll see you when I get to Orlando. Just made it to the room. I'm by myself for right now. It was a hassle. I literally waited in a line for like three hours, but very excited. I can't get over this view. Love Universal. I brought my annual pass. They told us that we have Sundays off and of course there's a lot of things that we need to study and whatever, but I want to have time to like to kind of decompress from the fact that we're going to be, you know, bottling all this information every single day and getting tested. So I think it's very beneficial for me to at least go a few hours on Sundays to at least, you know, release some stress because I might need to do that over here. I'm going to try to see if I can unpack at least something. That's my side. So what I decided to to do is to do some uniform and they look pretty nice i just bought like these polos and border the frontier on it well i didn't my mom did i already met my roommate he's from puerto rico too most of the people that i'm going with this class through are puerto ricans so i brought my flag and then i brought the little wish star. I feel like he symbolizes my wish you know becoming a flight attendant come along in this experience so yeah So I got changed and I came to Universal, cause why not? We have the entire evening off. I feel pretty confident on the things that I've studied so far, so. I have a friend that it's already in here in the diner. She's actually going through training with me. Let's see where my friend is at. Introduce yourself officially to my vlog. Hola. We are not getting wet. Today was a day. I just got back to the room. We went to Universal. We literally got here at like almost 1 p.m. It took us a while because we were the last ones on the line. And then we got to our rooms, we got settled in, and then everybody decided to like kind of like go separate ways to like eat. So we went to Universal. We were speculating that maybe tomorrow when we get there, they'll give us an exam on the things that they gave us the pre-test before we got here. We were just like, you know what? We should just get together and like study all these things. So nothing takes us by surprise tomorrow. Hi, I just got back from lunch. I was like, let me go to my room and get my jacket because it's freezing in the classroom. I grabbed a coffee. I am not a coffee person, but I have to because I'm gonna fall asleep on these classes. It's too early for me. Let me chuck this. I didn't get it on my shirt, thank God. I think. Horrible! I'll see you when I get back. Say hi again. Hello. What are we doing? We're going to you're going to starving. eat because you're starving. I do a grabar el volcán, pero ya que está ahí. Introducase. <laughs> Wait, what? Where did I leave my phone? En bujute. No voy a hacer. Taste test. <laughs> yeah, I'm recording you right now. <laughs> Hi, welcome back 
Today was day two. I can obviously go into specific about what I had in each class. It wasn't until today that we started getting, you know, like materials for us to be able to get a test for the first time tomorrow. I am excited. I'm nervous, very confident that I'm gonna be able to pass this test. It is a lot of information that you need to learn. You get two retakes and I am hoping and praying that I don't need those until the very last part of my training if I ever do need them. So I'm gonna focus, study hard. I feel like obviously working as a gate agent for so long it helped me get some things quicker but it's still gonna be challenging for me I expect you know that it's not gonna be a piece of cake I have people that came with me from Spirit Airlines so I already know them I feel more comfortable with them so Juan Javier Liz if you're watching hi sometimes you go into these things with all these preconceived notions and you're like oh my god am I gonna be able to do it obviously I won't recommend people to like spend their time outside of what they need to be focusing on but on that Sunday at least take like like three four hours for yourself you know stop studying kind of have that time to like decompress I at least want to get off my bubble and try to like you know do something different whatever you need to do so you don't get burnt out because this is my future I want to be a flight attendant before I came here I got this bracelet that says tu puedes which means you can because sometimes I'm very hard on myself but when I put my mind I know that I'll be able to achieve it so yeah I'll update you if anything else happens but Peace. Hi. Literally, this is this is a lot. My room is a mess. I know. I just haven't had any time because I've been so busy focusing on studying. I can finally say that I went through first week of training. Week one of training apparently is the hardest week of training. And what I'm most excited about is that because of my dedication and all the hard work that I put in, I haven't used my retakes on any exams. Retakes, like, yes, they're good, but they kind of mess with you. People get in their head very quickly. Let's say you have an exam for today. You would have to study for another exam that is a totally unrelated subject to that one. You would have to take that retake and that exam. I feel like in my opinion they're trying to see if you will crack under pressure if I can give you any tips is to take one day at a time do not focus on whatever is coming next and literally find what works for you like find your study habit I come over here and I study for like four to five hours and then I would go into a little group and then discuss the things that we learn and what we think is gonna come in the exam and then if they have something that I miss I'll be like oh I better study that and then when I come to my room back that night I'll go over or whatever I missed so it's kind of nice to study in groups I'm not gonna deny that it, it hasn't gotten me through training because it kind of has but just find those people that are like you know your clicks and if I can say something else for you to do on this training that has helped me daily affirmations like I wake up in the morning and I will literally be like I'm the best I'm gonna crush it there's literally no one that can stop me just believe in you trust the process give yourself some credit I know it's not an easy thing to go through but it's not impossible a lot of people have done it so I can do it too hello Today is my day off. I promised myself that if I made it through first week, I was gonna go to Universal to celebrate. So today I am going to go with one of my friends, gate agents from Spirit Airlines. I'm just gonna grab everything that I need and I'm gonna head out. I'll see you in Universal. <laughs>
<laughs> Hello, welcome back. There's just so many things happening at the same time. I had to change rooms in the middle of my training. It's a whole process to like get changed. And I understand I was by myself for a while, so like I'm grateful. I still crushed my exams and I am very proud of myself, but yeah. <laughs> Me and Christine are back at Universal! I might get a different. <laughs> We're gonna try to see if we can get into the DreamWorks preview because we tried to do it on our phones and it was at capacity. I don't think we will, will but put in positive energy. It's a good sign when Beetlejuice is playing on the entrance. Yes. Let's see if they let us in. Do you think they will? No. <laughs> I'm decomposing. Oh, Same. That's impressive again. Babe, I we did. cannot hold this pose forever. Right? Let's double check. Oh, there You're you go. You're working with professional, sir. Oh, Come on. What do you have to say to all those annual passes like me that couldn't get a reservation to see the kitty lady? Too bad, too sad. I don't know. What are you going to do about it? Are you excited about your new movie coming out? Uh, yeah. I, I can't talk um, a lot about it because I got here some on the video. Oh, okay. My lawyers and all that. Keaton playing me to a T right now. He's a <laughs> it's not easy to do this. No. Are you been recording this this entire time? I think so. How about a little direction, babe? <laughs> We're just over here chit chatting. Gonna give you like a little uh, song and dance routine. I don't know. Oh. Well, I didn't know doing? either. She's Why are we yelling at each other? I don't know. Let's uh, just get the Come on, guys, stop it. I just wanna hug you guys. Come here. All right, get lost. Get lost. Do you wanna take a photo? Yeah. Uh, we didn't take a photo. <laughs> oh, it's not. <laughs> I love Beetlejuice. He's my fave. Yeah. We're gonna go into the show. Let's go into the show. It's not funny. This isn't Disney. We don't have to be nice to kids here. Okay, alright. That is Eddie! What's up for Eddie over here looking really good? Cool. Today was a very rough day for a lot of people. It's just like hard. I feel like sometimes they just want people to hand them what they need to do. And I took it upon myself to start studying for the test tomorrow. And then when I got there, I even volunteered to be the first one and I crushed it. Today I got a haircut cause our last exam is in four days. I am literally so ready for my graduation photos. And I even got my uniform, let me show it. I didn't get the entire uniform, but I got, I think the most important pieces. I got my belt buckle. Isn't that adorable? Literally. And then I got my apron. Obviously, we'll use this when we're doing service. And then I got my shirt. I asked for a bigger size. Even though we tried some stuff, sometimes, you know, stuff is not fitting correctly. I was just still afraid I wasn't gonna have anything for my graduation. So I just put a bigger size. I don't know if I actually received something else because they did just receive some packages, but I wanna go to bed. Like literally through this training, the earliest that I would go to bed would be at 11.30. Like that's the earliest. And that was one of the days that I was like, I got this. I'm comfortable with whatever is coming tomorrow. And I got a hundred, so. <sighs> You know. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> next time I up to you, it might be on my graduation, so putting positive vibes out there, so. We passed uh, our final. I just passed my final exam. I am very proud that I went through this entire training and I didn't have to take not even one retake. 
This shows me that sometimes when you doubt yourself and you think you can't do something, if you put your mind and your determination and focus on whatever you want to do, you can do it. Before I came here, I was so scared. Everybody said it's very difficult. Like, it's difficult, but not impossible. I only got two brain cells left, so hopefully they'll help me on my IOE. Um, but yeah, I am going to change into my uniform. I'm going to go down there and enjoy my last day. We just put in our uniforms. Look, we look so cute. We're going to take our photo. Oh, my leg. Today. Today I do my IOE and my initial operating experience. I'm going to take my very first flight from Tampa to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico to Tampa and then I'm done with my IOE. I think my first trip is at 5.50 a.m. So we have to be there at 5 a.m. I'm about to gather all my things and literally head out. So I'll see ya. <laughs> My bags are packed up and I'm ready to go because today is graduation day. <sighs> Let's go and get those wings. <laughs> All right, class 2412. This one you're going to have to make mental notes on it. Hello, today I'm going to be doing my first flight ever. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to make my way into the terminal, so I'll see you inside my plane. 